Hey guys, it's Not a Mercenary, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. This look is going to be inspired by the new favorite music video by Luna. I randomly came across it one day and I loved the makeup in the music video. A lot of the video is filmed in black and white, but in the parts where there's color, you can see these beautiful red ombre lips with this beautiful peach eye moment. So today we're going to recreate it. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So like with any makeup look, we are going to use primer first. So I'm going to use this luxury state of the art one million dollar elf hydrating primer actually also guys don't mind this little hair right here i tried to add baby hairs to this wig but it was not happening okay so now onto the foundation they all have extremely beautiful porcelain skin so i'm going to be using this which is a little bit too light for my skin but i think perfect for this look and this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation in the color 110 porcelain if you pour too much, it's okay because, um, oh, okay, um, it's okay because, like, they're really white, so, uh, I don't know, girl, I don't know. But yeah, if you're going to do this makeup look, I really recommend that you get a shade one to two shades lighter than your skin tone because... I heard that in like Korean sort of like um, makeup, they really like um, fairer skin. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using my hands, it's because I did not wet my beauty blender and I'm a little bit too lazy to do that. And um, I think it looks just fine. Oh, I love getting foundation in my hair. Yummy. I feel like it looks just fine rubbed in like this. But I would recommend that if you want more like a flawless coverage, then definitely use a damp beauty blender. Okay, and now for concealing, I didn't really see any like highlighting or contouring in the video. It was kind of just very simple. So I am just going to try to hide my under eye bags. And for this, I will use my beauty blender. I just looked in the mirror in the bathroom. And last night, I had a really bad dream about this girl with like black hair and like black eyeshadow. And she looked like a ghost. And I looked just like the girl in my dream. And I'm kind of scared about it. Okay, and now we can go ahead and set our face. Also, I forgot to tell you, um, this was the NYX concealer, the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the color 00, or CW00, I, I don't know what the CW stands for. Now I'm going to go in with my AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder, and I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Kabuki brush and sort of set around my face, but you don't have to set too much because I noticed that the girls have really dewy and glowy skin. So if you do have a light foundation that is very dewy and glowy, I would suggest using that. Okay, and now for the eyes. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild just sort of like blending brush and I am going to go into this Oakland 8 color matte eyeshadow palette that I got from Hush.com and I'm going to go into the color Rebirth and I'm going to use that as a transition. They didn't go like, oh, I'm gonna set my eyes real quick first. Okay, so like I was saying, I didn't notice like crazy too much eyeshadow, but what I did notice was a very simple and cute little coral peach moment on their eyes. And now I'm going to take Rebirth on my middle finger and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Then I'm going to take the color Shell on my ring finger and I'm going to put that on the outer corner as well. Now even this might be a little bit exaggerated because they looked like they had very light makeup so I'm going to take this clean fluffy brush by AOA Studio um, E103 brush and I'm going to try to buff this out because it does look a little bit too much. And now I'm going to take my index finger and dip into this color called Aura. And I'm going to go from my inner corner to the middle and just sort of rub it in and then pat towards the center. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that rebirth on my finger and sort of pat towards the middle to make them meet. And then again with that shimmer color called Shell. And now I do realize that this does look a little bit more dramatic than the original look that I'm trying to copy. 
but take this with a grain of salt. Um, it may not be exactly perfect just like the video, but I'm going to try to get close. And now I'm going to take this AOA Studio E124 brush and I'm going to go into the color shell again and just put it towards like my outer lash line right here. And then I'm just kind of cleaning my brush on my wrist and I'm going to go into Aura. Okay, and now I'm going to be transforming my eye a little bit. So I think first I'm going to be doing the Egyo Sol. I think that's, I don't speak Korean. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's basically like this. Take that same brush and sort of clean it off a little bit. And I'm going to dip into this color called Divine right here. take like the tip of this blending brush and kind of blend it out now comes for the sort of trickier part and depending on your eye shape you you know results may vary but for me and this kind of eye shape this is what I found works so I'm going to take an AOA studio 116 brush and I'm going to dip into this color called icon it's sort of like a dark brown color if you don't have dark brown you could probably just use a black and we're going to create a new eye I was inspired by this right here and I want to create sort of that kind of eye shape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it out and then bring it back in Okay, so now our eyes appear a little bit more bigger and lengthened. You do not have to do that part if it's too difficult or doesn't suit your eye shape. This is just a little something extra that I really liked. From now, I did notice that they did, or the certain girl that I'm thinking of in this picture did a small line of liquid liner. And I'm really, really freaking bad when it comes to small, thin liquid liner. So I'm going to try my best. And if I screw this up, I'm gonna exit this video and cry okay and now for eyebrows now, depending on your eyebrow shape, this is going to be a very challenging part. I know it is for me. And so the eyebrows for the girl that I'm thinking of, which is this one, she has very straight, like natural looking eyebrows. They're not like dark and super arched like in America, like I'm used to. I really don't like this. Okay, hold on. This brow, not working out. So let's start over on this eyebrow and I'm gonna go in with this AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil and this is in the color dark brown and I will just try to use a light hand with it and see if that works. Already, I can tell that this is working 100 billion times better. So I would recommend using a brow pencil, but if you do, use a very light hand or else you're probably gonna end up with like super dark brows. See, like my brows are already getting really dark and it's, ugh, it's so hard to do Korean brows. It's a whole nother world. Honestly, this is as close as we're gonna get to that. Her eyebrows are way lighter than this. But that's what we're working with and that's what that's what we got. Okay, I don't know how I'm feeling about these eyebrows, but I think that this is as good as they are going to get. 
so we're done with them if you can do her eyebrows better than i can please do it like i don't i don't think you need all this mess like they look really big bushy and not quite like hers but i gave my best shot now i'm going to go in with some mascara on my eyes and this is the pro big mega lash mascara now you don't need a lot of mascara because this look is sort of more on the natural side but just a little bit helps to get any powder or foundation off of your lashes all right and now i think i'm going to go on to the blush so i'm going to take this lol blush it does not have a name like a certain shade color but it's just like a duo pink and light pink and i noticed they did have a little bit of blush in this sort of area but they didn't have too much and i am like the queen of doing too much so i'm going to try to do this with a light hand If you do end up putting too much, you can just take a brush, dip it into your powder, and then sort of go over it like I did. But I didn't dip it into my powder, I just sort of like went over it to blend it out. Okay, and now on to the lips. I would recommend starting out with a chapstick so that you just have like a smooth base to work off of. But my chapstick is far away, so I'm not going to use any. I am going to take this Mega Last Liquid Lipstick in the color Missy and Fierce. And this is by Wet n Wild. I'm just going to get some, put it on the insides of my mouth, and then blend it out with my fingers. Okay, so as you can tell, I tried my best, but it did get a little messy and a little bit more spread out than I would have liked. So I'm going to go wash off my hands real quick, and then I'll show you how you can fix this right here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that NYX concealer, just going to put a tiny bit on my hand like that, maybe a little more. And I'm going to take the tip of my beauty sponge and dip into it. And then go around my mouth and then like I'm sort of gonna like suck my lips in so that it doesn't touch the red part okay and then what you're left with is this sort of situation and it kind of made my lips disappear so I'm just gonna rub it a little bit okay that looks better I don't think it's perfect, but it does look better. And then I'm just going to take a really old clear lip gloss. Any clear lip gloss will do. And just apply that to the bottom and top. Now just for an added little glamour, I am going to add some highlight. And I'm going to take this Sephora Golden Hour. I don't know if they still sell these. I haven't been to Sephora in a while. But I think I got it like a couple months ago. It is this shade. It is in the color. It's in the color um, Dusk 01. I think this is the lightest color or maybe one of the lightest colors they have. I'm going to take my AOE Studio F19 brush and just dip into that. Sort of like zigzag motions. And then I'm just going to like bounce it on my cheekbone. I feel like this look looks really close to the original look I'm thinking of. And the only thing that's ruining it for me is my nose. I cannot change the shape of my nose. I could try to contour, but I don't think it would quite work out for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below telling me what you would like to see next. Make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.